so this will be our last volume example. Uh, this time we want to take this region between y equals sine x and the x-axis and revolve around, oh, sorry, we meant to say y-axis here. Revolve with the y-axis, okay? So this is going to go around, so there's kind of a, an outer region here, like so, and then there's an inner, there's an inner bit there that we want to kind of remove. Now, obviously, there, there is a washer there you could use, right? Except then you've got to figure out what are the inner and outer radii for that washer. And, and here's the thing. Um, to do that, right, to get the radius for the washer, we'd be integrating with respect to y. So we'd need, we'd need x as a function of y. So x would have to be, well, arc sine of y, except we'd also have to be careful because, you know, arc sine only kind of applies for the inner radius, right? Because remember that for arc sine, we only do the domain from here to there, right? And so then for the, for the outer radius, we have to, we'd have to shift by, I think, pi, right? Um, and, okay, that, that gets a little messy, and plus you have to integrate arc sine, and nobody likes integrating arc sine. I mean, we can do it. It's integration by parts, but we'd rather integrate sine if we can, right? And so using shells allows us to integrate with respect to x instead of with respect to y. And so we say, well, what does a typical shell look like? So a typical shell is going to look something like this. All right, there, there, okay. So typical shell has radius, in this case, just given by x, because we're going about the y-axis. Height, given by sine x. Not so bad, right? X times sine x, yeah? Radius, x, height, sine x, going from 0 to pi. This is, I think, a more desirable integral than the one involving arc sine. So we have our 2 pi. Um, x goes from 0 to pi. r of x, h of x, dx. And yes, you do still have to integration, integrate by parts, but you know that's good practice for us, right? Um, if we're doing this by parts, remember u is typically the power function if there is one. du is dx. dv is sine x dx. That makes v equal to negative cos. Okay, so that makes our volume equal to 2 pi times, so uv is going to be minus x cos x, and we've got to do that from 0 to pi, okay? Minus minus becomes plus the integral from 0 to pi cos x dx, okay? So we get 2 pi times, so when we put in the upper limit, we're going to get uh, minus pi times minus 1, we get pi minus 0, so we get pi, um, plus um, cosine of pi, or sorry, we integrate, this is going to be sine, let's do it this way, right? It's sine of x is from 0 to pi, right? We gotta, don't forget the antiderivative. Uh, oh, that doesn't contribute or anything, right? Because um, sine is equal to 0 at both 0 and pi, so we get uh, 2 pi squared for the volume. That's an interesting result.